Hello, I'm sorry for this long post, but could I get your help, please? My name is Dr. Jay Hobbs. I'm a chiropractic neurologist and functional medicine practitioner. I've treated tinnitus patients for years for whom I have passion. So I'm in the last step of getting an NSF SBIR grant to begin more in-depth research on the treatment of tinnitus to further develop test and as quickly as possible to make widely available more helpful treatments for tinnitus. So at this point, I need letters of support. Um, you might read that as letters of interest, especially from industry influencers like um, hearing specialists or group or forum leaders. From, um, also from those who have sought solutions far and wide, and many of you have traveled the world looking for answers. So I'm hoping to submit my final proposal within 10 days. Actually, I'm hoping five days at this point. A uh, letter does not need to include content about whether you think my team can accomplish what we propose, unless you have reason to believe we can. In fact, most people don't believe a really helpful solution is possible, or at least not probable. I disagree, and I'm willing to work to prove it. The letter um, on Business Head, if that's available, does need to say that if we accomplish what we propose, you would see great value in this for helping the population of tinnitus sufferers that you serve. So also, you should state your credentials uh, and or position and what population you serve um, if you're a, a healthcare um, or um, forum supporter or leader. What we propose? Uh, what we propose is a multimodal, app-based, self-help tinnitus treatment, research and development. Um, we'll help, um, We'll develop a product or service that will be largely self-directed, effectively no time required by the provider, and provided through a very sophisticated, interactive coaching style app used through a smartphone, tablet, or computer that will be very affordable for the average consumer. Uh, we're looking at probably $400, and um, if we provided it through an audiologist, then they would probably be able to keep $200 of that to give them some motivation to provide it. Um, so an in-app assessment will help determine which tinnitus subtype you have and recommend and provide the most helpful self-help approach or approaches. So initially, we'd start with utilizing three modules. Um, one would be lifestyle education, uh, training, and motivation, including CBT. Number two would be help for muscle toxicity and tenderness uh, buildup, like trigger points. And we found that um, in our clinical experience, about a third of patients um, this is a really significant aspect. It's not being addressed by anybody. Uh, we've also shown how to uh, teach people how to take care of themselves through this, even without ever coming in our office. So we believe we can do this effectively. And number three, auditory discrimination training or other and other auditory therapies, like including notch therapy, music, uh, neuromodulation, 3D localization. There's a lot of things we can work with here that haven't been um, tested widely. Um, and more therapies will be tested, incorporated through the app, working to continually improve on results. So the benefit to the patient, we're hoping, would be an average of 50% reduction in distress and 50% reduction in volume um, in as short as 30 to 90 days. And it's not expected to work for everyone. So, and of course, this is a bold claim and there are many questions left unanswered. And that's the intent of the NSF SBI research grant is to support that which seems improbable. At this point, the claim does not need to be supported in the letter. It's just the interest. So I'd appreciate the letter on your letterhead if available. And if you'll do this, please send it via photo or PDF so it's in a finalized format that can't be edited um, to my email, uh, drhobbs at tinnitusynergy.com. You can get the spelling of that in the text below. So finally, I'm sorry if you're suffering, and may God bless you.